In this video, I'm gonna show you four different AI sales agents that you can build, how we arrived at these agents, and how you can implement them into your business. So let's dive right into it. So essentially, when we're thinking about agents, we're thinking about workflows in general. We want to start with mapping out the processes that we want to actually build out. So when we're thinking about sales, there's a couple different roles in a common sales team, an SDR and an account exec. Each of these roles have different responsibilities. So when we're thinking about building agents, we essentially want to build an agent for each of these different role responsibilities. And then we want to build a master agent that can call any of these agents to do these tasks. So essentially what we'll have is we'll potentially have like an SDR agent and an account exec agent, which are kind of like the meta agents. And then inside, underneath these agents, we'll have the lead, like the responsibilities of an SDR are falling. You have to scrape leads from websites, you have to enrich those leads, make sure that they're valid, get all of like extra data points on those leads. Then you have to actually um, do uh, essentially cold email outreach on those leads. Then you have to do uh, inbox management. So you have to essentially man the inbox and respond to replies as they come in. You have to nurture, you have to follow up. You have to get try to get the prospects on a call. You have to qualify people. So these are each individual agents that we can build. Then we can also build an agent to send proposals, to hand off and do onboarding. Um, so mainly the whole entire goal of sales agents is to do these roles and to get sales calls on the account exec's calendar. And so let's dive into how we would actually do this. So when we think about like an email writer agent, um, an inbox nurturing agent, essentially what these agents are going to do, we're going to build them out in N8N. And basically what they're going to do is just monitor whenever inbox, whenever uh, a message gets added to our inbox, we'll give it access to our Google, our Gmail, G Suite, whatever email tool that we use. So then whenever a new message gets into the inbox, well, what it will do is say, who is the, who is the email of that person? It will go and it will use RAG to pull that information out of a CRM or out of our vector database. It will pull up all the past messages in that email thread. It will add that email thread into the context window. And then it will use your past email responses from the vector database to understand like how would Ethan write a response to this email? How, like based on past responses, how has Ethan responded? What objections come up? If it's an objection, it will say like, here's how we respond to specific objections. Um, and this is essentially the email uh, nurturing agent. Um, and then on top of that, we have other agents. We have the like the the voice inbound voice agent. So another sales agent that we can build out is that like if you're just getting inbound calls and it's out of office or you don't want to respond to these, you can essentially have a voice agent just qualifying people using your specific data to figure out is this someone that should actually talk to your sales team or not. And, and then based on the sentiment of their call, based on what they want, we can qualify them or disqualify them. And if we qualify them, we can have the AI agent take an action to uh, ring your SDR and get them on a call essentially. And so essentially what this would look like is we would add in a certain amount of information into your knowledge base. What does your current sales process look like? How do you qualify them? What are, what are the parameters for calling, qualifying people? What are the common objections? Uh, how do you currently track this stuff? And so all of it is just based around how do we train these agents to act as your sales team would do. Now, when we think about lead scraping, lead enrichment, there's many different ways to go about this. Personally, I think that as of right now, the actual scraping and enrichment and outreach is actually best done through workflows. So when we're thinking about inbox management and nurturing, getting people on a call, this is when the AI agent comes in handy. When we're thinking about scraping, lead enrichment, cold email outreach. This is kind of what I talked about in some of my last videos where we essentially talk about, um, we're essentially pulling leads from different sources. So if we go over here, I'll show you what I mean by this. So I go over here to my files. So I'll show you what this looks like. So I've talked about this in past videos, but there's essentially different sources. We can pull them from Apollo. 
We can pull them from LinkedIn Sales Nav. We can pull them from Phantom Buster. We can pull them from Instantly. There's a bunch of different sources of how we can get leads. Um, but once we get those leads, we can basically automate the entire process using make.com or NAN to automatically pull leads, enrich them, automatically personalize them, automatically add them into campaigns. And then basically you just focus on replying to those leads, making sure that the campaigns have low bounce rates, making sure that you're enriching them, um, and then closing deals. This, this is essentially what the process looks like. Um, I've gone actually into these workflows in the last, um, in the last videos. But essentially what you need to think about is how do you want to manage the inbox? Who's managing? What agent is managing the inbox? How are you nurturing these? How are you following up with these people? Um, and how are you enriching them? So oftentimes when we think about enrichment, we really just think about how do we get LinkedIn data into, into a prospect's record so that So that we can personalize outreach messages, slash e emails, or LinkedIn messages to these prospects. So I hope you found this valuable. This was a little bit more in the theoretical side of things. I showed you a little bit about these but it was very much just like, how do we think about agents? How do we think about what we want the agents to do? How do we think about building them? What is the fundamental structure and architecture we need to build them, et cetera, et cetera. Um, if you found this valuable, you can head on over to my free school community. In this, I've added in all of my AI systems templates. We do regular workshop recordings. I'm gonna be teaching you how to build these sales systems, marketing systems agents prompt engineering for these agents and systems um, and as i am building these for clients as i am learning what works what doesn't why it works why it doesn't this is going to be updated and you'll be able to learn start to finish how to actually do this as well as talk with other people in the community about um, the things that they're working on their successes um, and as you can see, the communities, um, lots of engagement in the community, lots of comments, lots of feedback. Um, and we're doing workshops and recordings in here as well. Um, so just sign up to this for free. Um, and you can do a free intro call with me to get set up with this stuff to understand how we can take you from zero to one and actually building these out for your business or for your clients' businesses. Um, so I hope you found that valuable. Uh, please subscribe to get more of these videos. And I hope to see you in the next video.